Hey guys, when you're drawing your angles in standard position, it's really important um, that you draw the arrow on the curve inside to show the direction of the angle. So for example, um, let's say I'm going to draw the angle um, 135 degrees. Okay, so um, I start at the, my, my standard position on the x-axis and I'm going to go counterclockwise until I get to right in the middle. And that's where 135 degrees is. That looks like... That looks like uh, there we go, that's better. So 135 degrees is right over here. It's right in the middle. Okay, so you draw your terminal side, but then you want to draw your arrowhead, sorry, you draw your curve, and you need to put an arrowhead indicating the direction, and then you also need to label the angle like that. So I'm seeing some of you that are, draw are drawing this part, but you aren't putting the arrowhead on it. What's important is uh, directionality matters. So for example, if I wanted to graph... I don't know, negative, um, let's go negative 90 degrees, okay? So that's going to start here, and it's going to end at the, the, um, the, the negative y-axis. So again, notice I put the arrowhead on there. you got to have that. And then I want to put the label of the angle right on top of the curve. Now, if you didn't do that for your homework, that's okay. I'm not going to get all bent out of shape about that. However... Make sure you fix this because this kind of thing needs to show up for your test. And then actually, you probably should have your starting line um, on there too. And I know some of you did use the polar coordinate graph that I sent you. You're welcome to use that. That's not going to be on your um, test. But try your best to get the terminal side as close as possible to where it needs to be. Um, you know, if, if I gave you an angle like, I don't know, 150 degrees, it would have to be on this side. If you ended it somewhere over here, then you didn't go far enough, that kind of thing.